welcome back students hope you all are doing well keeping good health and start your preparations for the end examination today's video i am going to let you and highlight you certain important concepts for the course environmental impact assessment eia which is a common stream uh, common subject for all streams of engineering here the course is all about the length in its structure and it's about the theory part and you are supposed to work out each and every question in a bulletin points and do not write in paragraph as you are aware that the question paper pattern is all about part A as well as part B. The part A consists of short questions from A to J which is of 2-3 mark combination and the long questions are from 2 to 11 which are of 10 mark I mean the 50 marks for this part B and the part A consists of 25 marks. And the first and the foremost gunshot question I can give you is the EI cycle and the procedure and the delineation of mitigation measures and EIA report for soil quality. I mean the measures for the soil quality is said to be the topmost question and the components of EIA and the rules in the EIA process and the environment and the forest notifications and ecological sensitive places is said to be the topmost question which may occur in 2A this time dear students out of these questions and there are no short questions but I have highlighted a few short questions to here like in form of uh, explain the need of EIA and the scope and baseline data and Indian policies of EIA such type of questions may occur in two or three mark question. EI benefits and flaws may be also short questions and the assessment of alternatives and the environment parameters and its types and the decision making and uh, monitoring the clearance conditions is said to be the long question and the vegetation measures for the soil quality is said to be the topmost question which may occur in 3AB as well as the short questions AJ may be also occurring from this part dear students have uploaded a video on how to write the short questions a two and three mark questions in this video please do in this channel please go through it and watch it later the second unit question is number four as well as five uh, coming to the long the criteria for the selection of EIA methodology and the impact identification methods of EIA and explain checklist and matrices method the network method the checklist method ad hoc as well as overlays method out of these methods this is said with the direct 10 mark question if this question comes in the question paper in form of four or five this is said to be the short question also they may be asking you the differences sometime coming to the fifth question it's all about the impact measurement and the identification impact evaluation and impact interpretation from this part you will be getting the short or the long questions and the differences among them the environmental attributes may be the short question construction stage impacts as well as post project impacts this may be the fifth question and from this part you will be getting the short questions in form of CD. Let us jump into the third unit. Dear students, as it is all about the theory paper, I have uploaded a video on how to take the theory paper in the university and examinations and to score a better mark, please go through even that video which is being highlighted in this channel. The monitoring environmental management plan and the meditation plans on the relief and the rehabilitation may be the short and long question. Identification of significant or unacceptable impacts requiring mitigation is said to be the topmost question which may occur this time in form of six question and the seventh question is all about the monitoring methods and EMP preparation and appraisal versus pre-appraisal methods related to the monitoring method, the short and long questions which may occur in seventh question in the unit three. Dear students, please do concentrate on your handwriting as well as usage of pencils, usage of pens and pencil in the examination to score better mark as this is the last exam for you all in a BTEC life and do score 80 percent to 90 percent above marks in all the courses so that it may be increasing in your final aggregate at least 3 to 5 percent may be increasing in till now whatever the exams you have taken till 4-1. And the unit 4 is all about the 8th and 9th question. It's all about the environmental laws and the protection acts is said to be the topmost question related to the water act, air act, wildlife act. If you're working on it, you'll be able to work out even the short questions, dear students. Please do write your answers only in point wise. And if there are any neat sketches, please do with the pencil only. And the solid as well as hazardous waste management rules is said to be the topmost question. And the short and long, the control of noise and loss of biodiversity and the life cycle assessment analysis as well as methodology and flow of materials and the case studies and the general questions will be asked from the 8th and 9th questions and do not skip the unit 4 as well as the next unit unit 5 you are not supposed to skip and this all about the case studies only you can write in your general uh, language by working out at least one or two times from the textbook the factors to be considered in making assessment decision is said to be the topmost question and the environmental management plan for A, water, land environment for the thermal power plant project is said to be the topmost and gunshot question which may come for direct 10 mark in form of 10 and 11 dear students. 
Next, lay to the model EIA statement for an airport, multi-purpose dam or the nuclear fuel complex or municipal solid waste processing plant or so and so etc. Such type of model preparation will be asked in the exam for sure. You are supposed to work out along with the diagram very neat sketch only in pencil and you are going to score very good marks out of out mark if you are working out the unit 4 as well as unit 5 dear students and do not skip any part of the video which I am highlighting here and do not work, uh, do not write in paragraph, do write only in bulletin points and write in black and blue pen and do not forget to carry all your stationery to the end examination and do not forget to share, like as well as subscribe to my channel if you are looking for any other course content. Please do not forget to even the comment in the comment section. Hoping to see you all a better performance in your end examination. Hope you will be texting me once you are done with your examination. Good luck and God bless you all dear students. Thank you. Thank you.